In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best free resources you can use to further boost your sales with your low content and no content books on Amazon KDP. So if you haven't been here before, my name is Rory and I run this channel called Mr. Rosa and I like to talk about ways you can make money online and specifically in this video, we're going to be talking about Amazon KDP. So there is many great free resources out there you can use to help increase your sales. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about a couple of uh, Google extensions you can use to help give you further analytics for keywords and help you with future uploads of your books. So if we jump straight into the computer, the first one we are going to have a look at is called AMZ Suggestion Expander. Now remember these are all free and you can literally just search them up on Google and they are able to download. So actually if we just search it up now, AMZ Suggestion Expander comes up here, Google Chrome extension, and you can just download it. As you can see here, I already have it downloaded. Download it there and it'll go straight to this corner here. So with this Google extension, what you can do is it shows you a few more keywords you can use when you come to upload your book. So for example, if we type in activity book, the AMZ suggestion expander shows you all these keywords here rather than just the usual ones on the side here. So as you can see, we have adult activity book, toddler activity book, preschool activity book, sticker activity book, and it shows you loads and loads you can use and what is being searched on Amazon regularly. So this is a great way to come up with new ideas for books and to also help increase your sales by putting more keywords in your title and keyword box, for example. So the next one we are going to have a look at is one that will help you see your books easier. So if we go to the normal Amazon KDP website, as you can see, I am, I'm not getting many sales at the moment because if you saw my previous video, I stopped uploading a bit. But as you can see, it's not very easy to visualize what books are selling and you've got to click on there and then you've got to download a, a, what is it, a spreadsheet. But with a book report, if we click up here, this small uh, circle. As you can see here, it gives you an easier visual appearance on how you can see what books are selling. So just from here, I can see how much I've earned all time. Whereas with KDP, you can only see what you've earned in the last uh, 90 days. And this gives a small graph and like a pie chart on what books are selling. Unfortunately, I can't show my books. But yeah, and also it tells you how many of each individual book you have sold. So 23 is my highest for one, then 12, then 10, and how many sales you've got and the percentage of from which marketplace it is coming from. So for me, 85% is coming from amazon.co.uk. So this is really a great way to visualize what books are selling and well, appearance wise, it's a lot nicer. So moving on to the third one we've got today, this is actually one that has multiple different tools you can use inside it. And some of them, they aren't free. You get like a limited usage a day, but you can pay a small price to get the full package. So, and it's called Helium 10. So if we launch Helium 10 tools, this is how many tools you get. So let's just have a look at each one. So a good one that I've seen is called Cerebro. Now you get two searches a day and I've already used one of my searches today. And if you see here, it asks you to put in an ASIN pin. So if we go back to a book, type in activity book, let's just find one. And if we click here, go down to the ASIN, uh, copy that and then go back into Cerebro, paste that, search, and then get keywords. It shows you the book there. Uh, the total keywords, the sponsored keywords, the organic keywords, and the Amazon recommended. And this is the great bit. If we scroll down a bit further, it shows you the keywords that are being used and the search volume it is getting and the competing products. So as you can see here, there is less than 10,000 competing products and it's getting a search volume of 354. And then if you keep scrolling down, you can have a look at what uh, what keywords you can use in your book. So if we have a look, uh, let's try and find a good one. So we're looking for one probably less than a thousand, which would be great. So it's one less than a thousand here, search volume of 394, that's all right. If we keep scrolling, keep scrolling, uh, 
and as you can see here, look at this. 20,000, less than 20,000, which I know is a lot, but look at the search volume for that, 17,069. So activity books for kids ages four to eight, that is something you could use. I mean, I know there's a lot of competing products, but look at the search volume for that. It would make it a lot easier for people to find your book. And I mean, even that one, coloring book for pre-K, 394, that's still a good score for less than a thousand. So you can go through each book. I know you only get two search a day, but if you upgrade for the unlimited, let's just have a look how much that is. Uh, it is actually $97 a month, but that is to get all of them. And yeah, as you can see, there is loads and loads of different tools you can use. Some of them you have to pay for, but some of them are free you can use right away. So let's just have a look at some of these. So trendsetter, quickly and easily analyze products you are considering source and determine their seasonality. Uh, Frankenstein, most powerful Amazon keyword processor. I mean, these are all great things you could use to help boost your sales. And I know another one that Helium 10 use if you search up a book, so let's just search up activity book again. It gives you more insight into the ranking of that book. So if you look to that one we were looking at earlier, it is 620 in books, which if you know about your Amazon KDP books, that is very, very good. It is number one in children's paper crafts books, seven in language arts, teaching materials, and five in children's world games books. So that is a great selling book. And yeah, on every book, it gives you more insight on its ranking. And just as bonus one I'm gonna give you today, uh, it is not free, you have to pay a fee for it, unfortunately. It used to be free, which is the annoying thing, but it's called keyword uh, Keywords Everywhere. So what Keywords Everywhere can do, much like the other Google extensions that I've shown you, it can give you more insight into what keywords you can be using, and even when you're searching up Google, it can give you more keywords you can use. And it's also one you can use for YouTube as well. And yeah, great way to boost your sales and give you more insights into the different books you are looking at. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, it means the world to me. I think we've just surpassed the 100 subscribe mark, which is, I mean, that's great. That's the first milestone that I've hit on this. And well, what can I say? The next one is 1000. And if we keep going the way we're going, I'm sure we'll get there in no time. But if there is any other Google extensions you would like me to have a look at, leave a comment down below. I'll be replying to all your comments and I'll for sure have a look at it. And I was thinking of maybe doing this for YouTube as well because I know there is a lot of great uh, Google extensions you can use on YouTube to get more insights into tags and stuff like that. So yeah, if you did enjoy, like, subscribe, and well, what can I say? I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.